Made by Disney, actually. This is back when they made good games. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Make sure you tighten the wrist strap. Don't have one. Sorry. Guilty party. It, it's like Clue, but better. Oh, just just you guys wait. This game is it's pretty fantastic. Oh my gosh, is that the hippo from Papa Joins the Circus? Wide load. <laughs> All right, <laughs> forgot about that. In case you didn't know, this is made by Disney. Also, it's got a Banner title screen theme. It's pretty profile. We'll be gumshoe. Because we are a detective after all. Oh yeah! Alright, story mode, solve the mysteries. You bet. We have one player? Okay, we got Max, Phoebe, Kid Riddle, Charlotte, Butch, and Lean Lean. Now, Max looks most like Gumshoe, but I do like Butch and Kid Riddle. And Grandma's great, too. Marty, you gotta help me decide. Who should I be? If you have a preference. Butch is usually my go-to. He just looks so dang cool. Either Butch or Kid Riddle. <laughs> we'll be Butch. Oh, yeah! Oh, I can't play on Super Sleuth mode? I guess I have to play on Rookie mode. This should be easy. Let's go to the prologue. Learn the ropes. Yes, that's my final confirmation. Let's yeah, just go. go. Here I go! That is not the voice I expected Butch to have. <laughs> Collect clues by playing mini games. Duh. Oh, I can't wait. Well, oh, I see you've accepted my offer of a refresher course in the art of detection. Hmm? Perhaps you want to reacquaint yourself with the basics. Well, perhaps you wish to show off your skills. Or perhaps... Mom said we can't have dinner unless we humor you. Oh, well, in that case, let's get started, shall we? Yeah. What do we have here? A desk! Or is it? Maybe it's a robot disguised as a desk. Is there a desk under all that junk? Is that mahogany? No, wait, it's teak, isn't it? I bet it's teak. What is on the desk? A uh, pudding, pudding dish. dish. And what is significant about the pudding dish? It's smaller than the trough you usually use. It looks more like a fondue dish. It needs to go in the dishwasher? <sighs> the pudding dish is empty. A pudding. My pudding. Someone ate it, and you're going to tell me who did it. You're going to do so with the clues available to you in this office, the gallery, and the bathroom. And you're going to do it before dinner. That is to say, right now. <clears throat> okay. Someone ate my pudding! I'll show you the ropes to help you solve this mystery before dinner, sir. Follow my lead! Alright, Butch, it's your turn. It's always my turn. I'm the only one playing. Attention. Question marks a clue. Aim at it and press A. Yes. Dust for evidence. Point to wiggle the Wii remote to remove the dust. Find and uncover the clue to win. Let's go. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, that was really son. easy. <laughs> we got 30 savvy points! You yeah! Might crack the case. We found a spoon! A golden spoon is hidden away in the drawer. There's a short hair stuck to some dried pudding. Yuck. And that's a true clue. Cool. This tells us the culprit is short hair. This is your notebook. You hear you keep track of the clues and make a sketch of the guilty party. Okay, keep so we up. know their hair is short. Let's close our notebook. Nice job. Good job, detective. Using your sketch pad is an important part of solving the mystery. Which suspect is the culprit? See, it's still my turn. Excellent work, detective. You found an important clue in the office. Now let's move to the gallery. <laughs> That's a great running animation right there. Use the look around view to find the Commodore. Move into the gallery with the Commodore and Olivia. Let's go! It's so uh -huh. My dear wife Olivia Dickens is here. Perhaps she knew. Maybe she knew something about this mystery. 
Suspects have clues too. Aim at Olivia Dickens and press A. What's on your mind? It's Olivia. She has a long hair, so she can't be the culprit. She's female, thin, tall, and it has an indifferent move. Oh, uh oh. This is a suspect. She has a clue for you. Let's interrogate her. Stare eye to eye. Detective. Have a staring contest with the suspect. Point and move the Wii remote to stay eye to eye with the suspect. Oh, I can't wait. This is where the game gets really good. We were so intimidating that she started, uh, saying Olivia Dickens says, I've lived here for years. It's only the men in this house who eat the pudding. I can't stand the stuff. That's true. Alrighty. So we know now That's it's really a man well. who did it. Apparently. We're just taking her at her word. Who done it? See, it's Butch's turn again. Good job, detective. There's one more room to investigate. Meet me in the bathroom. Oh, the most important room in the whole house. He's running again. <laughs> well... <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> He's just very eager to figure out who stole his pudding. Move to the bathroom. Alright. See you later. Oh yeah, see ya. Thanks for the clue. Oh man. Butch has a pretty good run animation too though. <laughs> Up the ladder. Now here's <laughs> Bilge the butler is here. I wonder if he ate my pudding. <laughs> the butler is a suspect. He has something to tell you. Butler Thaddeus Bilge. Can I help you? What a great- Oh, he has short hair! Mmm, <gasps> and he's a man! Oh, the, did the butler do it? You Let's ask for his testimony. Bribe the suspect! Press and hold the A and B buttons to pick up and move money into the suspect's hand. Release the buttons to drop the money. The mini games in this game are just so good. <laughs> what if I give you a little more? What if I give you a little more? How about even just more? What, what, what? $500 do it? <laughs> That's the most over the top reaction to be. Well, that was $500 to give it. Wow. This guy looks like Dick Dastardly as a butler. Butler Fatty's build says, I saw someone tall sneaking into the Commodore's office to eat the pudding, but you didn't hear that from me. It's He's telling the truth, apparently. So, this means the person is that's too tall. Let's close the notebook. Alright, excellent work, Butch. Meet me in the office, I'll tell you what I know about the crime. It's not gonna be as good as bribing the butler, though. <laughs> Alright, back to the office. I have one final clue to give you for this mystery. Commodore's a suspect, too! See what he has to say. Good day. Though he's also short-haired and he's tall. Ooh. Arrange the suspect's memory. Put the memories in order. First to last, left to right. Press and hold A and B to pick up and place the memories. What?! This went to, uh, supernatural, uh, levels of detectiving real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the pudding was eaten! <laughs> the lie detector. Your lie detector will tell you if a suspect is telling the truth or lying. If the suspect is lying, then the opposite of what they say is true. That is how lies work. Commodore says, in my opinion, only a thin person would be able to eat that much pudding. Only a thin person would be able to eat that much pudding? Yeah, that's a lie. The culprit is not thin, but round. So that means it's not the butler. Unless the butler is somehow holding in all that weight. Who done it? All right, I Butch, what you gonna do? You've collected all the clues to this mystery. Now it's time to solve it. Let's check out your sketch of the culprit. Check your clues. Your sketch now points to the culprit, but which suspect matches your sketch? Well, there's only one. For only three people here. It has to be the Commodore himself. Yep. Let's accuse him. Close your notebook. It's time to make an accusation. Talk to the Accusing Commodore. The Commodore and we're gonna accuse him! Oh, You'll need to prove your case by matching your clues to this suspect's appearance. Why do you think the guilty party has short hair? Why do you like think he has short hair? Well, that's because there was short hair stuck to the spoon. There. Why do you think the guilty party is a man? Because I think your wife said it was? I don't know if what she's your you wife. Why do you think the guilty party has the roundness of a pudding of his another? Because you lied to me. Why do you think the guilty party is tall? The butler would never ever tell a lie. I paid him $500. <laughs> you ate your own pudding. This is the most stupid case. <laughs> well, of course I ate the pudding. It's my pudding. Who else would eat it? What took you so long? Well, that was easy. 
uh, what I meant to say is, uh, you made that look easy. Good job. Not everyone would recognize the significance of the Golden Spoon. You'll do well to keep an eye out for clues like that in future cases. Please excuse my earlier outburst. <laughs> I get cranky on an empty stomach. But you just ate ah, it. Speaking of which, it's dinner time. <laughs> he is spry for a fat guy. Literally, he called, like, all of his detective friends to his room just to be like, Someone stole my pudding! Well, actually, I ate it. Like, it, I would be ticked off if he did that for me. We didn't use any hints, we didn't fail any accusations, we got all the clues, and we got all the minigames passed. But yes, and we got it in five turns. We got badges, learned the ropes, and you drew the culprit. Cool. Can I increase the difficulty, maybe? All right, to make an accusation, move to the suspect to accuse them. Yeah, it, it's true. You can't accuse someone if they're not there. It was a dark and stormy night. But tonight I bear dire news. I received an envelope in the mail from an old friend of the family. Mr. Valentine. The Shakespeare of crime. Indeed. What was in the envelope, Grandpa? A what? Ah, yes. Uh, a party invitation with a poem inside. And there once was a Seamus named Dickens, whose private eye kin were all chickens. Come Valentine's Day, the whole clan will pay. My pot like a pudding now thickens. A limerick? <laughs> Sounds like an awesome party. Dorian, what are you going to do? I'm retiring as head of the Dickens Detective Agency. <gasps> Who are you and what have you done with my grandpa? Oh, I haven't changed, but Valentine clearly has. I'll let someone else foil his evil schemes from now on. Well, who's it going to be? Eh? If you're retiring... One of us is gonna have to fill your shoes. True. Oh, oh, me, oh, me, 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 pick me, me, pick me, me, Grandpa! Ah, yes, the matter of succession. What are my options? <laughs> I could let my daughter run the place when she's not at school with the feds, or turn into a clearly insane child. <laughs> or ask my older sister and her muscle headed husband to do it. Then Wait, Butch is married to the old lady? How, <laughs> how? I'm right here. I guess that leaves me. You're far too young and inexperienced. But I... Blah, blah. That's just the pudding talking. At any rate, you still haven't figured out how to work together as a team. Putting any one of you in charge would be a grave mistake. But who's going to run the Dickens Detective Agency? And my dear wife, you are. What? what? Dorian, I really must protest. She's not even a detective. I'm not taking my marching order for some <laughs> old lady. Ow! Listen, Damn. when Valentine hears I, that I'm no longer my mind was blown, the Dickens detective that agency, she was married to the old lady. he will assume I am no longer a threat. But in the back of his mind, he must know I am still out there watching. <laughs> even Butch has aged phenomenally. So. Okay, that, uh, that happened. I love pudding. Um, there's also a note. What? Ah, yes. Roses are red, violets are blue. Who kidnapped your wife? Guess you don't have a clue. It's just as I feared. Valentine is unleashing his most villainous plot yet. He wants us to know we are powerless to stop him. You've got to do something. Wait, he just... I'm retired. You're the detective. He, he kidnapped the guy's that? wife in a single second. Dane, Valentine's good. And how? And wow. Why? She married later in life. Lean Lean is their adopted daughter. Oh! Okay, now it, the, now it all makes sense. Kind of, I, I, I guess. Someone's kidnapped my beloved wife, Olivia Dickens, with the storm raging outside. The guilty party can't be far. One of the suspects in the house is the kidnapper. Well, that does make sense. Use your wits to reveal the guilty party. On each turn, you receive detective tokens. Spend these tokens to move between rooms, talk to suspects, and collect the clues. Find four clues to determine what the guilty party looks like. One for hairstyle, one for gender, one for weight, and one for height. That's all you need. You don't need hair color, eye color, or like any other things. Accuse the matching suspect to solve this. Alright, sounds good. Oh, wow. <laughs> that room is locked. Thanks, dude. Be careful. 
Oh no! Mr. Valentine has locked you in the dining room! Quick, use a savvy card to get past these locked doors. Alright, start of our turn, we get to pick a savvy card. Johnson, get the ready. skeleton key! Yes! So we got our savvy cards. Use the skeleton key. Alright. All right. But there's stuff to do in the room! <laughs> By using the skeleton key, you can pass through locked doors. You're on your way to solving the mystery. Okay, let's investigate the bowl. You find a heart-shaped pudding bowl. Okay, that tells us absolutely nothing. It smells like bananas. Ew. That's not good. Uh, what's the exclamation point up here? Oh, let's go down there. There's two clues down there. Oh, exclamation point just means that's where I am. Yes, let's talk... Er, no, let's investigate hmm. the letter. You found the top of a letter. This is the top half of a torn letter. It reads, you must return to the manor after you hide her. Okay. Again, doesn't really tell us anything about them. Hey, Madeline. Short-haired female, round, short, indifferent. <laughs> let's accuse her already. No, no, we'll interrogate her. Get the suspect's favorite foods. Press and hold the A and B button to pick up and move the food. Place the matching foods into shape. Okay. Oh. I like oh, two yay! pieces of cake. Uh, that was really easy. All right. Chef best. Madeline says after the kidnapping, I noticed something suspicious in the office. That doesn't tell us anything, but my high standards stop me from pawing for the trash on the Commodore's desk. Okay. Again, none of this is all that helpful. Um. Okay. Don't run on an empty stomach. Here we go. Let's investigate the letter. The bottom half of the letter. So you don't it arouse suspicion, hide the evidence. None of this is helping us. Alright, let's talk hello. to Judge Judith Prudence. Did she just say hello? Alright, let's the interrogate her. Arrange the suspect's memory. Put the memories in order. First to last, left to right. Press and hold A and B, okay. I can't remember the order in which the apple got eaten. Yes! <laughs> wow! She's freaking out You're about that. Judge Judith Prudence says, When the lightning flashed, I saw someone carrying Mrs. Dickens outside in the rain. I was amazed someone so slim could carry her. Okay, there we go. We now know they are thin. Thank you. We're out of tokens. We have to Ooh, go to the next turn. The guilty, party. guilty party will escape in 17 turns. They're taking their sweet time. Oh no! The lights are out! <laughs> Dark room. Watch out! Mr. Valentine turned off the lights in the room! You can't see clues in a room with the lights out! Quick, use a savvy card to light up the room. Do I, uh, do I have to? I'm on this. We got the candle. We got your savvy cards, but I don't need to light up the room! It's, I, I did everything in here. But they they are forcing us to do that because it's the tutorial. Yeah, Butch did it! Good job. Nice job. Well done! By using the candle, you can see in darkened rooms. Candles reveal all of the clues and, and suspects in nearby rooms. Okay. Where should we go next? There's one clue in the bedroom. That, uh, okay. Um. Let's go to the servant's room, because we got two fiends in there. <laughs> Just to run through the entire house to get here, but it's worth it! <laughs> Investigate the safe. Crack the combination. Twist the Wii remote like a screwdriver to turn the safe's dial. Follow the air. Okay. And switch directions when you find it. Okay. Hmm. Did not do that fast. We only got 20 savvy points. Got we found a golfing cap, and inside the safe is a fancy golfing cap. It's still wet from the rain, and there's a short hair. To okay. Short hair. That's a good clue. Can I oh, okay. It's the maid. <laughs> there we go. Maid Fifi Fromage. Okay. Let's interrogate her. Like Briber. Oh, we got to bribe Mimi. That makes sense. Mimi really wants money for her. Like. Ooh. Could you maybe, like, give me $500? Oh. 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 Congratulations! You're doing awesome in the minigames that have earned the promotion to the rank of detective. 
Cool. Mate Fifi from Oz says, No, I didn't send Schmoot out in the pouring rain to pick flowers for the table. Only a terribly mean person would do that. She lied! You did send Schmoot out in the pouring rain. I'm on the... I have your number. All right. I guess we'll move to the lounge. You're out of tokens. Hopefully the guy doesn't leave. That would be bad. It's your turn. Pardon me while I solve this thing. We got a whistle. What the heck does that do? The whistle. Oh. Uh, you can bring any one suspect to the detective. That'll be nice. Uh, okay, let's investigate the photo. Develop the film. Use A and B to pick up the photo. Shake the Wii remote to reveal the image. Develop all the photos. Okay. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Yeah, we did! Yeah. We won't lose on this one because it's on rookie. Yeah, that's true. We got pretty savvy points. We found a photo! Hidden on a high shelf is a photo of Mrs. Dickens. Someone wrote on it, here's your target, don't let her... Okay, it's on a high shelf. Assuming they didn't actually use a ladder, that means that they are tall. You've almost done it! You're almost done, Detective! There are only five clues left to uncover. You need one clue for each of the guilty parties, four traits to make an accusation. Okay, Gardner Schmoot. Hey, hello! Hey, this, this guy seems awesome. Let's interrogate him. Scare the suspect. Watch the suspect's eyes. Swing the Wii remote into your open hand right when the suspect's eyes are here. I forgot about this one. This is such a weird game. amazing. It really is. <laughs> Gardner Schmoot says, Schmoot couldn't have done that crime. All the staff folks were busy working in the house. What happened? That's a lie. You got sent out in the rain, but you're simping for, Fee for Mimi, so you're not mentioning that. <laughs> Alright. Um, move to the foyer. Is there a place that has double clues, maybe? No. See you, Schmoot! Let's investigate the locked trunk. Enter the code. Watch for the secret code, then use A to enter the code and win. Okay. Hmm. Congratulations for doing awesome in the minigames. You've earned a promotion to the rank of Super Sleuth. So I think the difficulty is uh, upping now. Hey, Proxima, welcome back! Awesome, you won 30 savvy points. Mm -hmm. We found a pair of boots! In the locked trunk are the gardener's boots, which are muddy and slick from the rain. Okay. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily confirm that he's the one who did it. Although, maybe he did. Maybe he did do it. Ooh, he's the guilty party. Shmoody did seem really scared that we were on to him. <laughs> Pickpocket? Uh-oh, that's bad. Go. We got quickness. Oh no! Mr. Valentine is, is pulling the fuses! <laughs> Tell me, Detective, how are you going to solve this mystery when you're stuck in the dark? You'll never be able to replace all the fuses in time! <laughs> Install the fuse. Press A and B to grab the fuse and put them in the matching colored sockets. When your flashlight starts to fade, shake the Wii remote to charge it. Oh boy. Okay. There we go! We won a token for doing that. No big deal, no big deal! I'm the only streamer playing Guilty Party right now. I'm can't say I'm surprised, to be honest. All right. Um, uh, I think quick bonus token. Might as well use that now. Yeah. Why would we not use that now? Woo! <laughs> bonus token. You know it. You can also use quickness. As long as you have at least one token, you can move for free until the end of your yes. 
Oh yeah! <laughs> Butch is on a roll! <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, uh, where is it? Okay, we gotta move to the office. Oh yeah! We got it! <laughs> Butch is so fast this turn. Let's get the pile of papers. Rifle through the junk! Use A and B to pick up and move the junk. Uncover the clues and place them in the box. The junk will return after a short time. Okay. Hmm. Here it is. Hmm. There we go. Put it here. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> you found the bow tie. This is a man's bow tie. The fabric is ripped and it has a dark red lipstick and teeth marks on it. Cool. So we know it's a man. We have our profile. All right, it's a man of short hair. He's thin and tall. Uh oh, it looks like it's the gardener. <laughs> But there's still more clues to find, aren't there? Actually, not that many. Okay, here's what we do. I want this. We can do all this because we can move for free right now. No, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Okay, we're gonna investigate a drawer. Pick the lock. The pins have to be tapped in the right order. Press A to switch pins, uh, and then use the Wii remote to tap a pin. Twist when all the pins are in place. Okay. So weird. This is such a weird game. Right. Uh -huh. Wow, we still got 30 savvy points for it. All right, cool. Hmm. We found a tube of lipstick. It's dark red lipstick. Cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk to the butler, bribe him again. Maybe if we have. No, the butler ran away. <laughs> It's still okay, because we didn't have to move, use any tokens to, uh... <laughs> we didn't need to use any tokens to move there, so we can keep this up. Alright, you look Hello. guilty Hello. AF because you keep running away from me. We're interrogating you. Tickle the suspect! Wiggle the Wii remote over the sparkles as the suspect moves. The suspect will try to blow the feather away. Use A and B to pick up a lost feather. Okay. <laughs> Why, yes, this is the greatest game ever made. <laughs> Come on! Just laugh! Like Tita said. Ha 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 ha! <laughs> this game is top tier voice acting. <laughs> the butler fatty's bilge says, What a shame Ms. Dickens has disappeared. She was such a nice lady. The one time we went golfing on my day. This, these are useless clues. You Excellent, mean? you found all the clues. Would you already move to the culprit to accuse him or her? I have a better idea, guys. We're going to use a whistle to call freaking Gardner Schmoot here and accuse him without needing to move. <laughs> Come on, Schmoot. We want to talk to you. Oh wait, does he have long hair, actually? Schmoot's a busy man. But, uh, He's not the Schmoot's culprit. Sorry, but I must get back to Butley now. It's actually Bilge! <gasps> oh, you've done it now! I knew he was guilty! <laughs> because this guy has short hair. Don't point that finger Are you at going me. to accuse Don't. Butler Thaddeus Bilge? You only have yes. How do you know the guilty party had short hair? Um, well, how did we? Because there's a short hair stuck here. How do you know the guilty party was a man? Uh, well... It's a man's bow tie, just like the one that you have wearing right now! <laughs> what makes you think the guilty party is thin? Well, you went off golfing. Because it was someone so slim. Think the guilty party is all. Because it was on a high shelf! You did it! You're guilty! You're at the guilty party! <laughs> Alright, I did it! But what are you gonna do about it? 
Oh, too shy. Why did you do it, Bill? What did Valentine have on you? In the old days, I was quite the bodybuilder. Mr. Valentine put my talents to use. Always paid me handsomely, too. Not like here, where the bonus is coming pudding. So, when he asked me to help him nab the old bird, I happily agreed. Where is she? Where is my mommy? <laughs> oh boy, a ticket! <laughs> Hollow Point Express? That's the bullet train. Oh, I've heard about that. It's supposed to be rather speedy. It leaves tonight! Then let's get going. <laughs> Build your fires. They forgot their pudding. Okay, dude, enough about the pudding, all right. <laughs> Perfect! You solved the case in four turns, Dane. I impress myself sometimes. Yes. And we learned, whoa, look at all those badges. Wow, look at all those badges. We are killing it. All right, well... I think that's all the time we have for Guilty Party. It's an it's a phenomenal game, and I would love to play more. But our half hour is up. So, yeah, that's Guilty Party for the Wii, <laughs> if you can find a way to play it. I highly unlock it. Yeah, I recommend it. You unlock the new level, Dickens Manor. Mr. Valentine's playing his most nefarious crime spree ever. But what does he have up his sleeve? And we've unlocked Super Sleuth. And we've unlocked the archives. And Party Mode. And the train. And Dickens Manor. We already unlocked Dickens Manor. Cool! Thanks for putting this on the uh, roulette, Marty. This is so much fun, and I would totally come back and play this again on my channel sometime. This is a blast! Turns out this game is really fun when you don't play competitive and just constantly knock each other out with knockout traps. <laughs> X-Dude, what's up? You just missed Guilty Party, but that's okay. Because we have another game up our sleeve, so...